Right, so we're back on with the Astra van that we've been doing the install with. Car Audio Centre. If you haven't watched the other two videos we've done already, I'll put a link down below where you can go and catch up with them. What we're attempting to do, never seen being done before, it might have been done before, but we've never seen it being done, is putting a state roof line in it, but with a twist. This is Shine Automotive, if you know nothing about this channel. We are a car project channel and we have loads of projects. That's what we do. We have uh, affordable stuff that the every man can afford. Let's just crack on. Right, so we've got the roof line and this is off of state, and these are getting pretty rare to get older now, but what we need to do is we need to remove the existing material and then try and take the foam off as well. Once we've got it to that stage, we'll go back into the van and we'll see where it fits, but we're going to have to do some adjustments. So we are going to have to cut it and make it like a straight line along here and then finish it off with some piping or some trim. We don't know, we're just going to win. We have the material off and the base foam all cleaned off on that. So what we used to get the foam off with the roof lining, we used these little brass brushes, right? The really, really just a fine brush from our friends at Cling Spa. So literally we were just brushing it and then hoovering up the excess. And that's um, not too abrasive on it, but abrasive enough to get it off. You won't want to brush your teeth with that. I'm just letting that air out first and then I'm going to give it another slight go over. And that's where we've got the roof lining back. What I'm going to do is just finish off the bit of carpeting. Now we did find these, we'd misplaced these. And what I've done is just carpeted round. But they've got these and I'm going to try and cut these and actually get them squeezed into there. So we have these access points for both sides of the rear lights. So I'm hoping I can cut these and piece them in and get them carpeted over. So that's what I'm going to jump into now. I'm just hoping because it looks quite small in there. I'm hoping that that will actually just fit in there once trimmed down and then we can get them covered in. So I'll run it, I'll run it into line to there and there will be a slight step there, but that doesn't matter. Then at least that gets it pulled in where we need to be. And then we've got these access points so we can get to the back of the lights. So I have to work that out. And then once we've got them side bits done, that box done, we'll put the roof lining in and we'll work out where we're gonna trim and how we're gonna fix it up. covers have gone in really well i'm dead impressed with it just a few more bits to sort out but then we've got access to the back of the lights now and that looks right followed all these where we've got these lights that are stuck behind same on this side it's a struggle to get that one in but that's shaped in nice it's got the access panels now so you can get behind the lights which we didn't have before and they've pieced in really well but i'm, I'm not doing anything down the bottoms yet until we work out what the carpet situation is just in case you have to a bit of this is on shore, so I've made sure we've got plenty of excess. Same at the front, we've got all that access at the moment. And I'm not doing anything with the bottoms yet until we work out where the seats go, because we might just have to run this round the corner. So the next bit is we'll bring the roof lining in and work out where we're going to cut and trim the roof lining and start covering the roof lining in the material. So the roof lining fits without any cutting down. That's awesome. Right, 
Right, the roof lining is done. We've left the excess. And now Sam, it's Sam's turn. It's turned out really well. I'm happy with it. I've never done out like this before. We've done the fur on the cavalry, but that's about it. But this was really hard because it's diamond. Trying to make sure that we had it central and it wasn't going to look like on the uh, skew if. What Sam's going to do now is pierce these through with a uh, like piercing tool. I can't think what it's called. Just a big bloody upholstery needle. Upholstery needle. And then he's going to put them through and then he's going to bang them through. And he's got 150 to do. So is there plenty of uh, battery in the uh, time lapse machine, Lewis? Because Sam's going to need it. Mm. And he might want a marker pen just so he can mark out where his holes are in case he forgets. Oh. <laughs> Oh no, is that five? No, it's four. What's, uh, what's the hourly rate? For this? Yeah. <clears throat> 100 pound an hour. If anyone wants it, do they? I thought it would be. Make a living doing this though, couldn't you? People do, don't they? And drive, they drive around to people's with a little tent set up. Do you know, but it does. <laughs> Tons of YouTube tutorials, right, on how to stick these down. And everybody has got it wrong. Tape, glue gun, right? We've done that, it's taken no time. Spray glue, let it go off a bit. Look, no hardly a mess. You just push them down and they're sticking. Perfect. And then you just lag a bit more on top and then just push them down. Look how well glued they're in. And how it just tidies it up. Because I know it's a blooming nightmare and it's a messy job. But that is the quickest way. Don't glue them down, don't tape them down individually, get some spray glue. So we didn't end up trimming the roof lining down because we're just going to fold this up and put in position where we need to be. What we've gone and done now is we've ordered some piping so we can work out where the edge bit will lie and we can get that nice. In the video description, there's all the links to all the products we use, the spray glue, the roof lining, all the fibre optics, and obviously the sound systems come kindly from Car Audio Centre. So everything's in the description or the pinned first comment. So if you need to buy some stuff, you know where to get it from. And it's our affiliate link. And if you buy it, we get commission and it helps us out. Thank you very much. We've got a few more of the fibre optic things we want to make shorter. But for now, we want to make sure we've got all the roof lining in place. Just in case any of them do move. So once it's in place, then we can trim them down. So we've got the lights to do, the sun visors, the A pillar trims and the B pillar trimmed get it all cleaned out on the inside get the seats back in but you want to see the lights on i know that's what you want to see so we're going to stick all these lights on now let's have a look at these do i need this remote look at that look at that when you're driving round on a night you've got your ladies in the back 
Look at that. And that is just Sam. Just randomly put them in. No order. Just went for it. And you've got this remote. So you can change all your colours. Change it to how you want it to be. And you can have probably settings. There's loads of settings on there. There's lots of different types of stuff you can have. You can alter the brightness. Turn it down. Make it brighter. And that wasn't a lot of money. So what we'll do now is get on and get all the interior back together. But yeah. Looks wicked. I was unsure. But like the... The lining went on really well, and that looks good as well. That diamond fabric material. So in the next one, it is a big rush to try and get all the interior finished and all the sound system back in, the seats cleaned, sort out them ghastly grey sun visors, get them turned into black and we're doing something different with the bumpers and we're going to get the outside all detailed up. Hopefully in the next one, we should have it all wrapped up and finished. Click here to see the build playlist so far.